two points. There is a two-step process for this. Our first step is to find the slope. And we must use the slope formula for this step. So this is going to be m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In order to use this, we must label these two points we're given. So we're going to say x1, y1, x2, y2. Now, let's plug this into the formula for the slope. y2 in our problem is 0. Minus y1 in our problem is 6 over x2, which is 7. Careful here, minus from the formula. And then I have a minus 2 or a negative 2 for x1. So we're going to put that in parentheses. Okay, let's simplify. 0 minus 6 gives me negative 6. And two negatives here give me 7 plus 2. I have negative 6 over 7 plus 2 is 9. And we obviously want to reduce this fraction. So they both divide by 3. I get negative 2 over 3. So our slope is negative 2 thirds. Our second step is to use point slope to find the equation. So let's remember point slope. Point slope is the one that starts out y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And in this problem, because we're given two different points, you could technically use either point to plug in here at x1 and y1. However, I'm just going to go ahead and use the ones that are labeled x1 and y1 to make things easier. Okay, so let's start plugging in. y minus y1, again that's 6, equals m. We just solve for that. That's our negative 2 thirds. x minus x1, again, is negative 2. So careful with the signs here. Let's simplify. y minus 6 equals negative 2 thirds times x plus 2. So the only thing I did there was correct the negative signs. Our next step here is to distribute. So we have y minus 6 equals negative 2 thirds x minus, again, you can put this over 1 and multiply across. 2 times 2 is 4 over 3 times 1 is 3. And remember, we're trying to solve for y. We're trying to eventually get this in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b format. So our last step is to get y by itself by adding 6. y equals negative 2 thirds x. And this 6, again, we need it to have the denominator of 3. So 3 times 6 gives us 18. And we're saying negative 4 plus 18 gives us 14. This is essentially 18 minus 4. And we have the same denominator of 3. So this is our equation of the line given two points. Again, you could put this part in your calculator and simplify to get our fraction here if you don't want to do this by hand.